Hello my dear friends, today we are going to make a final revision for everything in science. This is for term number one, for year one. So let's start with the first lesson which is talking about living things and non-living things. So of course you know you are a living thing. You can grow, you can move from a place to another, and also we can reproduce. Reproduce it means have a baby. So, living things need air to breathe, need water to drink, need food to eat. Living things like what, teacher? Like human, like you, like animals, and also like plants. Because plants can grow and reproduce. Reproduce, of course, they don't have a baby. They will have a seed. Non-living things like this table, of course, the table can't grow can't move and can't reproduce. The table will never have a baby. And of course, this table doesn't need air, it doesn't need food, and it doesn't need water. Non-living things like what? Like desk, chair, and pencil. Now, let's talk about lesson number two, plant parts. Let's draw the plant together. We will draw the flower. This is the stem, leaves, and under the ground, we will draw roots. Okay, let's talk about the flower. The flower has colored parts. Like this yellow colored parts, we will call it petals. But this flower can give us what? This flower is the reproductive part. Reproductive, it comes from reproduce. It means it will give a baby, but the plant will give a seed. This seed will grow to be a new plant. So seeds, like this seed, like the bean, will grow to be an adult plant. So this plant need what? Of course, it need water, air, soil, and sunlight to grow. So let's talk about leaves. Leaves like, like your hand. It will start to make food for the plant. Like your hand, you will start to cook by, your, by using your hand. So the leaves will make food for the plant. And of course, the leaves have many shapes. Some of the leaves, they are wide like a fig tree. So let's draw it. It's very big like this, wide. And some of them, they are very thin like a palm tree. So they are very thin like this. So leaves have many shapes. Some of them will be wide like a fig tree. And some of them will be thin like a palm tree. Now, let's talk about the doctor. Uh, and this doctor uh, is a vet. What is the meaning of vet? He gives the pets, like the cats, injection. Injection, like a needle, like this. To protect them from what? Fleas, the insects, and worms inside the stomach. So the vet is the doctor who will give the pets injection to protect them from fleas and worms. Now let's talk about lesson number three, which is talk about human life cycle. So in FS1, you were a baby. Now in year one, you are a child. After that, when you will grow to be 12 or 13, you will be a teenager. And then when you will grow more to be like your mother or your father, you will be an adult. Lesson number four, body parts. Okay, let's talk about our body parts. Okay, we always sing a song, head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. But we need to know more about our body parts, like arm, shoulder, elbow, hand, wrist, and W is silent, leg, ankle, foot, head, eye, ears, mouth, nose, tongue, lips, and cheek. Okay. Let's compare between two boys, you and your friend. You are the same in some features, but you are different in other features. So let's compare in length. Maybe you are taller than your friend or you are shorter than your friend. Let's compare about your shoe size. Maybe your shoe size is bigger than your friend, 
smaller than or the same. So we can compare between each other. We have the same features like we have eyes, ears, nose, but we have different features like the length, shoe size, the color of the hair, uh, of the hair or the color of the eye and so on. Okay. After this, let's talk about the eye parts. This is very important, so let's draw the, uh, the eye. <laughs> okay, let me erase this. Okay, and let me color this part with um, green, and the inner part, it will be like black. Okay, and then draw this. So you have a lot of sweat. Eye brow will protect your eyes from the sweat. Now, you want to sleep, you want to close your eyes, so eyelid will open and shut your eyes. There is a lot of dust in the ear, so eyelashes will protect you from the dust. Now, let's look about the green part. This green part is called iris. It will open and close your pupil. The pupil is this dot in the middle. Why is the pupil is very important for us? Because we can see because of this pupil, it will let the light enter your eyes. So iris, the green part, will open and close the pupil according to the light. So pupil lets the light into your eyes to see. Now, if I want to check my eyes, I will visit the doctor. What is the name of the doctor? Up to me trust, optometrist. He is going to check our eyes. And he will give us glasses, of course. Okay, after this, teacher, I want to see very clearly. So, we are in a camp, and my friends in the other side of the river, we are going to use pinniculars. How can we draw it? It will be like um, this part. So, we can see by using pinniculars to see the far away objects. Magnifying a glass, it will be like this. So you can look at the ant or the small insect to see it bigger. Telescope, we want to look at the stars and planets, so we can use telescope. Microscope, of course, you know that your hands, it has germs. So if you want to see the small germs, you can use microscope to see germs and bacteria, because it's very small. Glasses. Optometrists will give us glasses to see clearly, so we can see everything around us. Okay, after this, we will talk about five senses. Of course, we have five senses, sight to see, touch to touch everything around us, smell, taste, and hearing. Let's just talk about touch. Why? Because we already talked about sight before. Now we will talk about touching. We can touch by our hands. And we said our hands, it has parts. Fingers, we have five fingers. Thumb, this is the bigger finger. Nails, knuckles, just to open and close our hands easily. Wrist, this is the place where the hand and arms connected together. But if we touch anything around us, they have different textures. So the wool is so hard. The pillow is so soft, some walls it will be so rough, the floor is so smooth, a pillow can be fluffy, bumpy like our poles or pricks, lumpy, jagged like crystals, cracked like a cracked thing. Okay, now let's talk about smell. We have two nostrils in our nose, two nostrils, but there is a mole, looks like a rat, it has like star nose, it has 22 tentacles. Why? To sniff worms. This mole is searching for worms. Let's talk about taste. We can taste everything around us by using what? Our tongue. So this is the tongue. It has many dots, it's called taste buds. We can taste the sweet, salty over here, sour and bitter food. Hearing, we can hear loud and quiet, loud and quiet. This is everything about term one for year one in science. So study very well.